So you had a family that was going out to a park to do a photo shoot. Now this particular park, people come to all the time to do a photo shoot. There was their one year old's birthday. So they want to do like the photos to have some memories. Well, while this couple is there having photos taken of their one year old, you have a woman by the name of Francie Neely comes down the line. And I want you to watch exactly how this woman is acting. She acting like a straight wild hyena. Let's roll the clip. Shame on you. Now, now why don't you go tell now why don't you go tell them that? Shame. Go ahead and tell them that. Go ahead and tell them that. Shame on you! Shame on you! Did you just say I brought yes, my dog? Yes, you did. Your my dog came around my child. You didn't even come to take the dog away from my child. Ma'am, you know that's a lie. You brought. She just said I brought my dog stop. to bite. No, she's crazy. It's been she is crazy. You're crazy. Oh, absolutely crazy. See? 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 Oh, good. 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 You just hit me, right? You just hit me, right? You just hit me. And I have that on camera too. Thank you. God. Well, then you need to have some respect for my child. You brought a dog I don't know around my child. You think this you brought this? I don't care. I don't, don't know your don't, dog. Don't do the innocent thing. I don't know your dog. You Here's the gonna, dog. Here's whoa, whoa, whoa. the big biter. You're inter you're inter Here's the bug. Excuse Here's me. The you're invading dog. my private. You're look, look, look. All right. Yeah. Good. Got it. Got it. Got it. What's your name? Uh, no, I'm going to get, get the license. Name? Yeah, get the license yeah, plate. Look at what you're doing. Look at what, look you're, at what you're doing. Look at what you're doing. Okay. And you have brought these people to crazy. Victim. And you hit my phone twice. There you go. Go ahead. Living the stuff. Uh -huh. My of property. This. No. That's fine. No, it is not your property. This is my property. Yes. You're messing with And I am stuff. moving Just your yeah. property. We will move. Don't worry. We'll move it back. We'll are move it back. You're racist. You're racist. You're racist. You are racist. Shame on you. Shame on you. You're racist. Racist. Shame on you. You you, you, you didn't tell them that. Shame. Bye. Call the cops. Go right ahead. I will. I am. Okay, Do I'll it right now. Right, bye. Go ahead. Now, they handled that very well. I'm going to tell you why they handled that very well. I know some of you would have said you would have wanted to probably knock her out or, or put something on her. And most people will respond that way. But this is the one time I'm kind of glad they did not do this. Why? Because this woman has a lot of money. Now she was married to Houston Astros owner, Jim Crane. When they got a divorce in 2015, he had to give her $30 million. That is, that's crazy, but that's those divorce laws. That's why a lot of men, especially men of means, a lot of times don't want to get married because look at that, right? Now she got $30 million. She's a millionaire. So she's coming up on them, harassing them, messing with their child, and ultimately assaulting the person behind the camera. So they already filed a police report on her for assault and battery. Usually people like that, they're probably going to get in contact with them and say, hey, you know, you drop the charges, I give you X amount of dollars. And I hope they have a certain number in their mind for when this woman wants to do that to make those charges go away because she got it. She can afford it. And if any, if you, one of you are watching this video by chance, get the money, get it, get it, get it because she got it to take. She decided to assault you twice. No, that can't happen. 
she messing up your photo shoot, you need to come up with a, a good number for her to pay. Cause she need to go ahead and pay that. And then when she pay that, y'all go ahead on and take a little trip to Vegas or something, take pictures and, and send it to her. So thank you for the vacation. You know, those, those hits, you know, gave us a good vacation that we probably couldn't have took ourselves. But this woman got a lot of nerve, a lot, a lot of nerve to try to do this to a child that has nothing to do with her. It would have been so easy for her to walk around them what they're doing. No, but ever since 45 been in office, they've been showing a uh, natural self, put it like that. They've been showing it big time. They, they come up here with all the name calling, they're attacking black folks, and they feel like they got a right to do that. And the thing is, I heard that woman's accent. I don't know if she's from Trinidad or whatever. And what I want to say to my brothers and sisters that come to this country from the Caribbean, African nations, etc. Some of you um, live in different areas. When you're in this country, no matter what, you are on our team, no matter what you say. What I mean by our team is they're going to call you every name they call us. Okay. And I see some of us come into this country like to separate yourselves from black Americans or whoever else. And tribalism don't work for us. It, it doesn't never got us nowhere. It hasn't. So what I'm saying is when you come over here, link up with us, link up with the African Americans. We can definitely teach you the ways of this country because these people and the way they're acting, I mean, I mean it is, it's going way beyond just, okay. It's just normal racism. Now they're getting violent. And, and I told you guys this, they follow the same playbook. First, they humiliate you and get that normalized to demean you, get that normalized. And then after that, they're going to start physically harming you because that's ultimately what they want to do. Like what you saw in this video, they are extremely violent people. They are real, real violent and they'll try to project themselves on others and act like they're not violent. They don't do anything like that. It's always just the black folks. Black people have been duped to then believe anything otherwise. All you gotta do is study what they put out. You ain't gotta listen to me and it will back up everything that I'm saying about an area of crime and, and, and violence. The only thing that will happen to them when they go into the criminal justice system is they get a slap on the wrist and you get the full extent of the law. That's just kind of how it happens with, with us as black people. But this situation you know, that we see and that we are always constantly seeing in this country is that it, the hatred for us as black people is real. It doesn't make sense how much hate they have for us. It don't at all. But I try not to even understand the depths of that hatred. Because to me, I always say it's just Satan that's in them, obviously, because it's not normal. Well, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this particular story. They need to get paid. I'm pretty sure most of you would agree with that. Because how is you going to run up on them, harass their child, mess up their photo shoot, and you don't have to come out of pocket for anything?